We are back again with another jewelry jar. This one was quite expensive. I sure hope it's worth the money, the time, the effort. <laughs> you just never know though. And we will continue to go back for more, I'm sure. So um, I'm not sure what's in it, guys. We just never know that. But we're hoping for the best. These are mystery jars and we just never know what will be in them. We sometimes find good things. We sometimes find mediocre things. Let me adjust my camera just a bit. It's looking a little strange to me today. I don't know why. I wish I could get these angles correctly, but I just can't seem to get it right. This is so frustrating. All right, let's see if that works better. <laughs> Looks a little crooked, doesn't it? Everything's a little off, but we can't complain. We are blessed indeed. All right, so we're going to open it up and see what we find, guys. I'm not sure what's in it. You just never know uh, what you're going to find, but it is a mystery jar. It did cost me $100, which is, I know, it's outrageous. It's absolutely outrageous what they charge these days. But uh, we just hope we find something, maybe 10 things worth $10, right? That's the way I always look at it, and sometimes that works for me, and sometimes it doesn't. We shall see. Uh, I want to show you a couple of things first, uh, starting with my rings. Everyone wants to always take a look at my rings and what I'm wearing that particular day. So let's take a look at that. And oh my gosh, this angle is just so awful, guys. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's wrong with this tripod. All right, so I am in love with lapis this year for some reason. I got this beautiful 14 karat gold lapis ring. It is pretty much matrix free, which we've talked about how the matrix can determine the value according to gemologists and jewelers. So they prefer the matrix free or almost matrix free. There's a tiny little bit of gold specks in the on the sides of this ring, but very, very little. So there's a little bit right there on the side. Other than that, it's super beautiful. Navy blue. I absolutely love it. This is a gift from a subscriber. They are amazing, authentic sapphires, and I got that just recently. I guess I could consider it a Christmas gift. Thank you guys so much. Anyone who sent me a card or even a beautiful email, I cannot thank you enough for the friendship that you offer and the kind words and, of course, the gestures of um, friendship are always appreciated. Then here's another one. This one is full of those beautiful specks that I actually like as well. I am so impressed with this lapis ring, guys. I just cannot get over it. Look at that amazing setting. Have you ever seen such personality? Look at that. Just look at the prongs, the way it's being held up, that setting. Amazing. Look, <laughs> look at the band. The band is actually squared off here. The band has ripples and waves and it just, it will not stop that personality will not stop. I uh, just adore it. I'm just, um, like I said, I'm a craze for lapis. Somehow or another, I'm a lunatic for lapis this month, which I always have been. I absolutely adore lapis, but I've been looking around for it and I've been finding it and so, so happy about it. All right, so that's that. And we'll get started with, oh, then I found these at the thrift store, separate on the rack. This is, um, I think this is Mother of Pearl beads it's just a little braid it's so sweet i just adored it. it's a vintage piece i think i paid 99 cents for it and i just loved it so i'll show you that and i have to go back to this thrift store tomorrow because they were just putting out more jewelry and i just did not have time to stay but they're all this was what was this this was 4.98 which is kind of high because i don't normally go over five on their things most of their things are three four dollars so they're always pretty nice. And there goes my camera leaning again. I don't know what is wrong with it. I'm trying, guys. I really am. And I'm so sorry that it is just not cooperating today. I think it's just the cords that are getting too heavy for it. I don't know. Anyway, I think this is some kind of jasper. Or do you think it's man-made? It's very cold. It reminds me of Dalmatian jasper. But... To tell you the truth, I've only seen Dalmatian Jasper when people say, hey, it's Dalmatian Jasper, and they look at it, and they show it on the camera, so I don't really know, you know, I've never really gone to a store where they say, hey, this is Dalmatian Jasper, 
you know, pay me $25 or something. I just pick it up at the secondhand store. And from what I see on these beautiful videos we put out. Uh, this one, does it say something? Let me see. I never even noticed it had a little mark on it because it was in that bag. It says Bracca. B Bracca or Bracha. B-R-A-C-H-A. So if you guys are familiar with that, let us know in the chat. We'll get started now. Thank you guys so much for hitting that thumbs up. You don't know how much it helps the channel when you do that, but it really, really does. So I appreciate that thumbs up. Appreciate a, a subscription if you haven't done so. And of course, always tell me what you think about the jewelry when we watch a video. I appreciate those comments as well. $100 jar, guys. It better be worth it. And I just got this one last. When did I get this? I think I got this about two days before Christmas. Oh, I think I see liquid silver in there. And I was very hesitant, but then I was like, ah, what the heck? She always tells me, well, I priced them accordingly. The reason these are 80 and these are 70 and so forth is because I put better stuff in them. So I'm going to see. I'm going to see if she means it. Dalmatian damnation. <laughs> Either one will work. You think it's Dalmatian though? I think it is too. It's so pretty. And those red stones are glassy too. They're beautiful. Have y'all heard of that name? Da uh, Bracca or whatever it was. Hey, Miss Smith, how are you? Hey, Don, how are you? Merry Christmas, one and all. Happy New Year. If I don't see y'all, we may come in on New Year's Eve, guys. I don't know. I've got nothing else to do, but pop my finger off with a firecracker, which I don't really do anymore. We used to do a lot of that. I used to love fireworks. Did you guys like, like fireworks? I used to love them when I was a kid and I did pop one in my hand once. And then I just, I just always liked them. I was the one who went out and bought them with my kids when they were growing up. And we live in the suburbs, so we didn't have all the, all the rules. But when we lived in the city, we'd go out of the city limits to pop them. But I was definitely the instigator and the one that loved the fireworks. I loved playing with fire, honestly. Even after I popped one in my hand, it didn't stop me. I was crazy. Let me see who's in here. 80 people. Thank you guys so much. Hey, Miss Yvonne Thrifty Rich, how are you? I hope you're doing well. You like the lapis ring? You appreciate the square. Isn't it amazing? I, I just could not believe I found this ring. I'm telling you guys, keep hunting for jewelry because it is out there. It really is. People hoard it and then they just don't want it and then they pop it up on eBay or donate it to the Goodwill. You just know. I'm hoping they donated it in this bag. Ooh, nice watch. It's just a Geneva, but that's a nice looking watch. It's a handsome looking watch. I hope the lighting is at least better. Just can't seem to get anything right these days. I don't know why. And I am waiting on some new lighting too because I don't know, these videos are funky lately. So we may just put a, um, a little get together. We'll sit around and eat cheese and drink wine maybe on New Year's Eve unless you've got better plans. I know a lot of people are doing Zoom meetings, <laughs> Zoom parties, right? Lots of Zoom parties planned. My friend Vanessa said she attended an anniversary. And she said it was beautiful. The snacks were kind of lousy. I don't think she had any, actually. <laughs> Another cute watch. Let's see what this one is. Very hard to see. It's out of focus. Oh, no. Is everyone else out of focus? Let me go open my door. My internet guy said open the door. It might help. Let me see what's going on. All right, I hope that helps. Let me know if everybody else has a blurry picture. What a shame. I'll have to record some too. Oh, good, good, good. All right, let me look at this watch. This is kind of cute. Hey, Miss Carmen. Oh my gosh, what is this? It's got a fancy name, y'all. Feels kind of lightweight though. It's Japan Diamond Quartz is all it says. It's a beautiful watch. Genuine leather band. And I have been taken to wearing watches. I got this one at an auction the other day. 
and I really like it. It's keeping me on track. It's keeping me not on track. What's it called? What's that word I'm looking for? Fossil. This is a pretty one. Where I realize how quickly time goes. Account. What is it? Accountable. That's the word I was looking for. It's keeping me accountable. This is a cool, cool watch. And I'm realizing you're wasting a lot of time, Thelma. That's enough with the coffee and the morning YouTube video. Go do something. So then I did. Hey, it actually fits me. It is nice. I like it. Heavy. It's cute. It kind of looks uh, like a Cartier tank or something. I like it. It's a men's, I think, but it's, I think someone cut it down and made it smaller. Took off some of the links because it fits pretty good. Pretty well. These are beautiful. These look like Lucky Brand or something. One earring there. Here's a 925 earring. It is marked. Looks like uh, some illusion stones there. They're just kind of beadwork. They make it look like they're um, diamonds or something. Here's a bunch of bangles. Very lightweight, but they're pretty. They kind of look like the Tahi I sold at my auction last week. Cute, cute, cute. I think there's about 10 here. These are lightweight, though. The Tahi were sterling and quite heavy. Oh, this is amazing. Look at this. This is for those girls that have beautiful arms. And they can wear this way at the top of their arm. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah, this has to be an arm bracelet. It's, it's awfully large. There's no way it can be a bracelet. It's like a coiled cobra. That is pretty. I got to put that up on Posh, guys. Someone can wear that very well. That's nice. That looks like an expensive bracelet. Here is another cute watch. Uh, pulse timer, it says. I think it's, it's a Timex. Pretty. I like the white watches, too. That's a nice one. Right? I have a few of those, too. I have those teeny vintage watches that I can't read to save my life. I need a magnifying glass to read them. But uh, I love the way they look. This is a beautiful earring. Let me see what else popped in here. Irene, how are you? Helene. Hel Helen? Or is it Helene? Helen. How are you, Miss Helen? Karen. Kathy. How are you, Miss Kathy and Debbie? Thank you guys so much. Susan as well. Appreciate you guys being here. I am always running into these earrings in every color. They do drape nicely, though, and I do have some like this that are abalone, and I love them. Here's a sterling one. This is cool. It is inlay with, I believe, some kind of faux turquoise. It looks awfully blue or kind of a substitute turquoise. It is Mark Sterling. It's so pretty, though. It's probably a vintage piece. Let's see what it says sterling right there? Uh oh, drop the bangle. Does it say sterling or Mexico? Let me see. The long word. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I can't read it now. I can't tell. I think it says Mexico. So it's probably alpaca. Inlay, yes. Okay, I just put another one of these. No, name things in my beat lot over there. I think it said Jennifer. That one says Denise. Here's some stud earrings, simple little studs. I'll put some of these aside till we match them up, unless they're really spectacular. Okay, oh, this is cute. This is a cute piece. Oh, I like this. This is in gold, it's light. If only it were real solid gold, wouldn't that be wonderful? You never know. You never know. I have found those. So this is beautiful, though. I don't believe it has any maker. I love that. That's beautiful. That looks very Grecian almost. Isn't it cute? That's a nice one. I like that. Okay, more bangles. So I guess we have about 10 or 12 of these. Quite a few. 
and I think we're going to have some craft pieces as well. It's a little broken necklace. Let's dump some more out. Well, we didn't even touch the surface of this bag. Look at that. Okay, do I see an Eiffel Tower? Cute! Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like a 3D Eiffel Tower key ring. That is so cute. That is cute, cute, cute. It's like a little purse charm or key ring. It's awfully heavy. That's pretty. It's all rhinestones. That's kind of cool. Then we have a stretch, clear quartz, but acrylic. More of these earrings. Lots of single earrings so far. That's a nice one. And that one. And here is, uh, we've got some seamstress remnants or something. Maybe someone made a costume. Because these are all very tinny little coins. And I guess someone put it around a costume piece or something. But that's just a little crafter piece, very lightweight. Yeah, there's some kind of metal, tin-like, very thin. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. Let me take a drink here. <clears> throat's a little scratchy today. This is cute. It has a label on the inside. Oh, it's a watch. That looks like a vintage watch. I don't know what it says, scripture or something on the inside. That's cute. I just, I don't know about having to open something to tell the time, right? Hi, Miss Grace, Miss Autumn Grace, how are you? Mar Miss Martha, I'm glad you're here. Ooh, cute little bracelet. Is this a Brighton? It looks like it is, but I can't, tw I can no, I think they're supposed to have a B though, aren't they? Boy, they did a good imitation. Here's a little Star of David. And a rhinestone and then kind of an antique gold bead on it. I do not see a bead anywhere for Brighton, but that's an awfully pretty chain on that. I believe it's just silver tone and kind of an add a bead charm bracelet. That's really cute though. I like that. Very cool. Yeah, oh, that's pretty. All right, what is this? More bracelets? Love bracelets. So cute. Is this gas? Yes. It's gas. That is cute. People love gas still. That's very popular. That's real. Love gas. Oh my gosh. That is too cute. That's in good condition too. It really doesn't have any wear on it as far as coloration missing or anything. It's a little tangled, but you get the gist that goes across your arm like that. It's got a puffy heart, and then it'll say love guess on it. That is so cute. Yeah, that's an... Ooh, look at this, a spider. Oh, wow, that's cute. It's a brooch. I don't see a maker on it. That's really cool. That's a spider, right? <laughs> that is really nice. I like that. We have two matching earrings, and these look very pretty. Is the guest two-tone? It is, because the charms are gold. And the chain is, um, and the bracelet findings are all silver tone. Yeah, the heart and the, uh, the love and the guest script is all in gold tone this is so pretty these are black just a little gold post We've got some more of these little tiny ones lots of single earrings here's a stretch this one all looks like um, dyed shell these are definitely real shell the rest are acrylic but they're kind of made to look like real stones kind of even maybe like volcanic stones things like that but these are definitely dyed shell. Purpley, black. Kind of cool. Nice bracelet. 
Okay, what is this? This is just a gold tone. Uh, like a little floral. I think it's gold tone. Yeah, it's gold tone. Kind of a ruby colored stone there. It's in, it's in good condition. Nice. We did get a match on these earrings. Yes or no? No, they're different. One is coppery. All right, we'll put those over there till we get a match. We got another one of these acrylic ones, so we have two of these. Yep. We got this big old thing, and I don't know. Maybe you attach it on two sides. There you go. Yeah, I guess you would attach it on two sides with some kind of chain. And then you'd have like a little bar there. A little curvy bar. I don't know. See how that would look. Maybe you could, you could even maybe put a strand of pearls. Who knows? That may work. That could work with someone. Oh, this is a pretty bracelet. Oh, I love the colors. This one has three buttons. You think it's a handbag thing? But it's got um, lobster claw. Very, this is beautiful. I love this teal. It looks like it needs some untangling. Oh my gosh, that is cool. Look at that. And three buttons. Look at that beautiful teal color. That's a nice bracelet. That's a very nice bracelet. Well, some of these things are already worth about $10. So, oh, what is this? Labradorite? A Labradorite earring, guys. I hope we get the other one. If not, we'll turn it into a pendant. That's genuine Labradorite. It says 925 on the back. I saw it. Yep, it says 925, and the hook is 925, too. Oh, my goodness. I hope we get the other one, because that is a nice, chunky piece of Labradorite. A nice representation of the gold and green, and of course that fabulous blue. Can you guys see that? That is nice, and it is marked on the back 925 there at the bottom part there. Nice. I hope I find the other one. We did find the match on these, and these were sterling, so that's good. One of the first ones I found here a minute ago was this sterling one. There they are. The ones that had like the illusion setting. So nice. We did get a pair matched already of sterling earrings. Fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Now let's just look for that Labradorite and we will be very happy. This is pretty. This is a little post and then it has like a little halo back. So if we get the match, get a match to that one, that would be nice too. Okay, now we got the copper ones matched. Love copper colored earrings. Look at that. These are pretty. These are acrylic. So they got a lot of impact with very little weight. That's really cute. I like those. Those are pretty earrings. Okay, then I saw this one that I said was pretty. Here it is. These are gorgeous. These remind me of Lucky Brand. Very cute. All the stones are there as well. So they have like a ruby-like stone, colored stone. I believe it's acrylic. Gold tone, kind of an antique gold tone. These are beautiful. They are very cute. Nice. Those are probably $20 earrings right there, don't you think? Got a bracelet. Can't tell if that's a stone or ceramic or what. Feels kind of heavy. Nice toggle. Yeah, definitely a bingo. And look, we have these in purple and copper. These are the same earrings. These are silver and purple. Same as those copper ones. Same style. And those are matched too. Here's another watch. This one is American Exchange. American Exchange. Is that a clothing store? Might be. That's a cute watch. It's kind of a... What do you call it? Acrylic. Clear, see-through. Ooh, this is pretty. 
this is very nice. This is a heavy, mm, I don't know, jasper, you think? It's a natural stone there. Looks like the color of tiger eye, but I don't see any banding or goldness to it. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. That's nice. That's a heavy bracelet. Here's another cute bracelet. These are very pretty, very boho. This is also that this heavy one was not red and green. It's a true coffee bean color, honestly. This is really brown with specks of gold and um, I think it's some kind of jasper. Feels so good. Milk does. <laughs> this is a cute bracelet. It's got copper, pearls, caged beads. Really cute. I like that one too. Here is a stretch. Looks edible like chocolate. Yeah, well, milk duds. I like milk duds. My daughter and I were just talking about popcorn with, um, she said she had some recently with um, chocolate chips. But we always do the M&Ms at the movies. That's kind of interesting. It's a stretch, but it's got a nice little vibe to it. You're eating some chocolate right now? I've been eating peppermint bark. I told you I bought it on clearance. <laughs> I was going to give it to my coworker, but they, they left early or something. I didn't find them, so I wound up bringing it home. And it was from, I don't remember what brand. It was in a beautiful tin, too, from Macy's. And my husband and I have been devouring it. It's so good. I don't know if that's a frog, a ghost, or what. But it's like on a Y necklace there. And yeah, definitely been having that. Oh, here's a genuine something or the other. <laughs> Can you see it? It's got all kinds of little crystallization in there. and It's probably adventuring or something. It probably was hanging from a charm bracelet or something. Right? You see that? Pretty cool. Nice and cold. And a really fancy pearl earring. We did get the match to these. These are interesting. I really like button earrings. They look so pretty on some people. They really do. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, it's a slider. I thought it was an earring because look, it has like an earring in there. But it's a little slider, like a little rhinestone slider. Would look great on a, on a uh, Omega chain. And it does have a marking on the back. Let me see what it says. It says 14 karat gold filled and L-I-N-D, Lind. Never heard of it. This gold filled piece. Probably a cubic zirconia in there. That's a pretty piece for a night out. Yeah, that's pretty. Save that over here. Find a chain for that. And another little rhinestone stud or something. Lindbergh, it, oh really, it just said Lind, so that might be a little abbreviation. Lots of little studs there, um, kind of a tinny cross. Let me put these aside and let me dump out some more. We are not even halfway done, $100 bag, it's gonna be worth it. So far, so good. Oh my gosh, these are earrings. Yes, those are earrings, one anyway. Wow, that is one big earring. A Gucci, and of course it's worn to shreds, but you know what? I could probably get 30 bucks for this, just as is. <laughs> this is a genuine Gucci, I can tell. I've seen many of them. Yeah, it's a Gucci uh, bangle. The snake skin is genuine. It needs to be glued. Uh, definitely, oh, it's cute. It is so cute. Definitely the color has worn, but... And then it's even marked on the inside, so you can tell that it's it's the real deal. It's a really vintage one, probably from the 80s. That is so cool. Hmm. You think it's fake? I don't know. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks a little fake. Because are the G's supposed to be one up and one down? I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up. But I've seen this style in Gucci, for sure. They do make this snakeskin 
clamp on, hook on bracelet. They make a lot of costume jewelry. I don't really think they, they think they recently started making, by recently I mean maybe the last 20 years, fine jewelry, but they've always made costume. Oh, this is nice. Change their symbol a lot. They do, right? This is so cool, guys. This is an old vintage clasp. And these are, it looks like bloodstone in here, the little red ones, you tell me. And then I'm not sure on the green, but that's definitely bloodstone there. And I don't know what the blue is. Or the black, but they're all natural stones. They appear to be natural stones. It's just a little necklace someone strung together. It's definitely seen better days. I'll probably put that in a beadlock. That'll be a nice addition to a beadlock. And we've got some beads coming apart, so that's going into a beadlock too. These are black and they're wood. Put that in a beadlock as well. We got a cute bangle, kind of brass colored. I think it's brass. Got a little vertigree there. I have to clean that up. Used to call it the blood of Christ. Hmm, I've never heard it that way. Look at this. This is cool. This is really cool. This is real shell on top of wood. It needs to be redone. But that is a beautiful bead. That is really pretty. Definitely an older piece. These are wood at the bottom. And then they were covered with some shell. Wouldn't that be a nice ring? Wouldn't that be a nice ring? I mean, you can make it a little stretch ring. That'd be so cute. That is just amazing. Look at that beautiful mother of pearl sheen on that. The luster. Wonder what kind of shells they are. So nice. All right, that's pretty. I'll probably put that in a bead lot too. Someone can redo that. Lots of wood necklaces here too, guys. Thank you for hitting that thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, take the the time to do so today, guys. It's always a free subscription, and you just have to hit that subscribe button there on the right. It's a little red triangle there I mean uh, rectangle there hit that and subscribe today that is so cool all wood as well those will go in the hippie lots and so there's nothing really wrong with those there goes that alarm again okay we got some Christmas decor left over here so we just put it in there it's actually kind of a cute bow that would not make a bad brooch maybe somebody had made a brooch out of it I don't know you never know, there might be a little remnant of the brooch down there in the bag. We shall see. This is wood too. This is pretty. I think I hear the pup around here too. This is really pretty. Graduated, also different colors of brown there. Very nice. And, oh, another watch. This one is by... Chico's. This is pretty. Chico's watch. A little worn out though. I don't know. Maybe it just needs a cleaning. It's more of that blonde gold color too. It's not a really deep gold. And yet another watch. Someone was into the tortoise. This one says Lori L Harvey Bernard or something like that. I've seen that brown be brand before. Also in the tortoise shell. Very cool. And more wood necklaces here. These are pretty. That's doubled. It's a very long one. Yeah, definitely lots of interesting watches. Fossil, Chico's. Well, that's a nice necklace there. I'm hoping we get that Labradorite earring. Got one. That's a cool earring too. That's lightweight. I don't think it's sterling. No, it's got rhinestones on it too. We did get this one. 
We did get the hefty earrings, guys. Someone would look fabulous with these. I'm telling you, though, my daughter would probably wear those. She's got the shortest pixie cut right now. She would wear those. I'll have to show them to her. Okay, we got a match on these. Soft little rhinestones. Could use a cleaning. Another watch. This one is worn, worn, worn. It's going in the recycle bin. Not even worth re hatching in some way <laughs> yeah that's something that was really worn even the leather was worn to bits oh look at this cute little seashell thing going on this one's cute 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 white silver enamel all kinds of stuff going on here guys even some howlite that is sweet look how pretty there's some wear on some of these shells. Like this one has some wear, but who cares? It's so cute. Pearls, too. There's even Howlite in here. Got some sea stars with enamel. That is really cute. Okay, what did I drop? Beads are popping. That's not bad at all. I like that. And then here's an interesting piece. This looks old, too. It's got the verdigree to prove it there. Interesting beads on these. I can't tell what they are. I think these white ones are glass. I think they're all glass. I like the colors on it. It's kind of different. Right? Look at that. That's pretty. Okay, look at this old tag on here. Made in Czechoslovakia. So we got some Czech glass here. Interesting. That is really cool. The colors are nice. <laughs> They're fun. That is really cool. Hmm. Here's another one. This one does not have a tag. It also has really interesting beads and those interesting findings too. Look at that. Very nice. Another tag from Czechoslovakia. Made in Czechoslovakia. These are so cool. Look at these pretty beads. I love beads. Look at that. Look, this is like a little mushroom cap. Then there's some crinkly ones. Just all kinds. And this one has a one of those teeny little pin type vintage clasp. It has to be put back though. Yeah, some kind of check glass, I guess. Look, this one has like Glass within glass. That looks like a veggie right there. It's like some kind of a pea or something. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? And look at the little pink ones. They're sweet. Like a rosette there, too. I love things like this. There's more. There's more Czech stuff. Look at this. Look at these marled ones. Oh, my gosh. They're so sweet. That is really pretty. The red and black is from Czech. I don't know. It's possible because it's different. Look at this one. It almost looks like neon. That orange comes off neon on the camera. It's pretty bright. Those are cool. Very nice. Okay, we've got some caps. I think these are findings from a necklace. I did get a whole collection, and look, there's more. And they all say Czechoslovakia. The, the tags are disintegrating in my hands. Hey, old hippie girl, how are you? Look at that. Those are cool. This is nice, too. I don't know what this is. This one has a tag, but there's nothing on the tag. Well, no, it says T R T B T. That one says B T. 
Uh, bingo too, right? I think so too. I love Chuck Glass. Look at that. This is really pretty. It's got lots of verdigris on the caps though. So I'm going to see if I can put some ketchup on that to fix it. Ketchup cleans up the, um, and vinegar does too, but I find ketchup easier to work with because it's thick. And see if I can't clean that up. And the rest of it is wood. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful glass bead there though. But the caps have verdigris. If not, I may just, if it doesn't come clean, and these are interesting. These are like metal over something. It looks like a foil with some kind of enameling. Very interesting beads here. Well, I'm going to try my best to get that verdigris off. If not, I'm going to pop it in a bead lot. That's cool. All right, here we have a Brighton watch. Well, it looks like a Brighton. No, it's a Chico's. That's cute. That's heavy. Leather and definitely made like the uh, Brighton style. It's even got a toggle. That's cute. Mother of pearl face. Hi, Miss Lisa F. How are you? Thanks, everyone who's here. I'm sorry if I didn't say hello to everyone. I'm just trying to get through this huge bag so we're not here more than an hour. It usually takes about an hour. But I do appreciate everyone being here. Thanks so much. Be sure and hit that thumbs up as you walk in the door if you have to go. I think I saw the match to this. Here it is. These are cool, too. These look very Chico's-like, too. So we did get some matches. I've already got about six pairs of matched earrings. Oh, look, we got these matched up. Remember this one? The one that said Mexico or Sterling? I'm not sure what. We got that one matched up. I don't know where the other one is now, but I just pulled this one out of the bag. So nice. Here it is. Here it is. That's cute. The inlay one. Those are really pretty. They look very tribal. I like those. Okay. All right. Here's, I thought they were caps, but they're actually beads. So another bunch going to the, to the bead. Oh, look, some crystal. Pretty little crystal. Every time I put on a stretch bracelet, I pray that it doesn't pop. How delicate and pretty are those? The little bicone beads are crystal. N lots of nice Chico stuff, right? Another, oh, Mickey Mouse. Oh, this one's pretty. It's a Loris. Now, does Loris still make the Mickey Mouse watch? I love this. And it's two-tone. It's going to go with all my jewelry. Look how sweet that Mickey Mouse watch is. This is in good condition, too. I love that little Spydell band. Easy to put on. <laughs> it's cute. Oh my gosh. I thought they weren't being made by Loris anymore. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know there's a lot of Mickey Mouse connoisseurs out there that know everything about the Mickey Mouse watch. So let me know. Because I don't know. But I know that they used to be made by Loris. Oh, this is so cute. This is a little bracelet. It's got little dangle beads on it. Very cool. Look at that. They're all acrylic. It looks very mod, 60s, kind of. These boots are made for walking. Look. Isn't that cool? That's pretty. More of these. I think these are the check glass again. I wish you could feel this glass. It actually has a texture like a grainy texture. And these are glass too, guys, these little melon ones. And I'm, I'm saying they're the check because they all have this particular uh, clasp. Kind of a brass clasp. Yeah, these actually have like a texture to them. Very interesting. And funny how these look like acrylic, but they're glass. They're uh, kind of an abstract shape. Very pretty color of peach there. Color of peaches. And yet another one. And this one does have made in Czechoslovakia. What interesting beads. And then these look like rosettes, but these aren't the rosettes. The other ones actually look like rosettes. These look like just little, I don't know, like... Um, little craters or something. Can you see that? Oops. 
Oh, thank you so much. I just showed the rings at the beginning of the video. So go back and get an up-close view of these new rings I just got. Thank you, Yvonne. Look how cute. This is a Geneva, and it also, I think it's a Geneva. It also trying to be a, it's trying to be a Brighton, but I think it's just a Geneva. That's a pretty one, though. I think it's a Geneva. No, it's a Xanadu Japan movement. I don't know. It's probably the same kind of quality as the Geneva. It's just a little generic brand, but they are come out with all kinds of styles. Yet another watch. This one's pretty. This one says Adrian. Fancy, dressy watch. Cute. I'll have to get that one to start working. There is a stone missing, though. But isn't that a beautiful bracelet on there? That could be an easy fix, too. A couple of stones missing, actually. Very interesting. Yeah, some watches are worth wearing, even if they're not running. It's what I do with my old 60s watches that are micro size. Okay, more of these dangles. This is ready for the recycle bin, though. Lots of wear on this one. And more of these crafter pieces coming out. And what is this? A tassel. It's a little fashion piece, tassel and rings. Chains, I mean, on a ring. That's a nice chain, though. Oh, it's from Charming Charlie's, I believe. It's got that double C. It's pretty, though. This would look nice in a little ensemble with some brown beads or some kind of chunky beads paired up with it. it would look cute. All right. What do y'all think of it so far? Not bad, huh? 100 bucks. This is interesting. <laughs> this one's ready to go to uh, Louisiana. Gamble. Look at that. Yeah, gaudy with a capital G there. Nothing wrong with that, though. If that's your thing, go for it. All right, I think we have, yeah, these are cute. Little mesh dangle hoops in gold tone matched up. Nice. I like when we get matching, the earrings to match up. That's important. I had a whole bunch of loose earrings. Here's a nice piece. This is just kind of a 80s look with the out of bead look, but it's a gold tone. It's very pretty though. Looks pretty with your stacks of gold bracelets. Very nice. And we did get a match on this huge earring. This is really interesting. This has like stones in it. It's gold tone though, but it looks designer to me. It really has a lot of design for it to not be designer. Let me put it on here so you can see it a little better. Quite interesting earrings. I think so. I think I've recouped my hundred for sure. These are interesting beads on here. They have like Lots of designs, stars and hearts, and even the teeny beads have like almost like a Mille Fiori design on them, honestly. They're quite interesting. They're heavy. I know I couldn't wear them for long. Oh, here's a pretty piece. Another shell look here. Very nice. Look at that. Abalone mixed with another shell. And a very nice little rope on that. Look at that pretty, almost like a he-she bead roping there. That's very pretty. It really is. Abalone tips on that. These are so expensive. They do not sell for less than $30, $40 retail. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. That looks old, first of all. Look at that. It's missing a stone, but wow, is it awesome. Look at that. I'm going to, I I just sold a rhinestone lot, though. It's on its way to Australia. But, and I'm just starting to fill up my other rhinestone lot. And if I find any that fit here, this is going to be replaced. 
This is so cool. It's a big puffy heart. <laughs> right? I just packed it all up. I'll have to get with you on that. <laughs> uh, I'm not opening that box again. <laughs> But I'm starting a whole new rhinestone lot, and this will be there and waiting for somebody to save it. This needs saving. It's so cute. Oh, my gosh. It's just, darling, a puffy heart. Look at that. <laughs> it's missing about five stones. More Czech, y'all. Look at these. They're getting bigger now. Made in Czechoslovakia. They are so darling. I don't know. There's something about them that's really whimsical and fun. Don't you think? Look at the combination of this plum with green. How cool is that? There's, It almost looks juvenile, but then it, it just looks whimsical and fun. I can't even think of, of an analogy. Maybe like a like a swatch or a flick flack, you know, the ones who made the uh, watches for children from from the swatch company, the flick flack. It reminds me of that, or maybe even the United Colors of Benetton. Remember that? That's another thing it reminds me of. Those really pop of colors, or what do they call Color blocking from the 90s. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Oh, look at this, a little button cover. It's a jalapeno pepper. Iris, Apple as well. Absolutely, Benetton. Yeah, I had a Benetton suitcase. I, I gave it back to the Goodwill. I used it for like two or three years. I loved it. It was so cool. It's popped out at the airport for sure. Look at these pretty earrings, guys. Bling, bling, bling. And they are articulated as well. These do not have any stones missing. And they almost look like a rose gold background. Can you guys see those? Those are cool. Nice, and those are matched. Let's pour out some more. We got about a third left, guys. <laughs> I told you it was a huge bag. What is this? Oh, bangle. That is earring. All right. All right, we're almost done here. I think I got everything out of the bag. Look at that cute earring. And believe me, you guys need to look at these teeny tiny earrings because I tell you, last time I found about five that were gold. And even if they're not all gold, sometimes the backs are gold. And you can take those to the gold buyer and they'll get give you some cash. It's a little hair thingy. Remember these? Really? Oh, they're so pretty. They look vintage, don't they? Here's a really cute Mickey Mouse watch. See, this one does not say Loris. I'm telling you, they stopped making them. This one just says Disney. Limited release. Disney on the thing. Genuine. This is China now. So, yeah, I think that other one is a vintage one. Look how pretty that face is, though. It's got the old-timey Mickey. It's got the castle. But it's not a Loris. Yeah, and if I am not mistaken, Loris stopped making the, the Mickey Mouse watch. This is an interesting bracelet. The bracelet looks like silver. But the, the little padlock is a gold color. That's cool. I'll have to test that. Let me get a magnet real quick. I'll have to test that. For some reason, the color looks like silver to me none of it is sticking actually which is interesting this could be a sterling over a gold over sterling or something some kind of wash but this really looks like sterling to me it actually looks like it worked together guys i have a feeling it was all together and it probably had a key that could be the opening there that could open it isn't that a cool bracelet I'm not sure, but to me it looks like sterling. I'll test it. Could just be a another base metal of sorts, but we shall see. Nice though, it's cute. Another cute watch. No name on this one, but it's red. It is in good condition. That's pretty. That's cute for Christmas time. Nice little red watch. 
we have oh look at him missing a diamond right there <laughs> how cute a jester and he probably had a, a diamond face these are just enameled but it looked like there was a diamond in there and it, you know you, sometimes they leave that little foil behind i'll bet that's what was in there that's cool little brooch no signature on it doesn't look quite vintage but it's a cute little brooch okay more of these little crafty pieces a button earring from who is this from coro this is a coro not that interesting but a little vintage nonetheless um this looks like an ear cuff and it also looks like sterling i'll have to check that as well and let me see what else is in here a uh, pearl rope here a little rope necklace looks vintage as well and an earring to match it and oh these are cute look at these i love the tassel earrings look at that beautiful cobalt blue oh these are nice i'll wear those those will pop those will pop i gotta wear bright earrings because you, they i really can't even wear silver that much anymore they they don't show through look we got two okay it was a pearl we got to find another pearl or this one was probably a diamond that's so cute though a little couple that is nice yes the cobalt earrings are darling the color is so pretty all right we got this little bangle ensemble of kind of interwoven bangles they're really big on me but very nice i think they just need a cleaning and they will shine up nice this looks like a vintage piece here this looks like it's in very good condition too and it looks like it says monet or napier it is monet it's pretty it's a very nice piece kind of a choker size yeah that's in pretty good condition i really don't see any wear on that and it's got a nice brushed finish. I think that those are leaves. And this one does have the hang. Well, it's got a hook. That's usually the older pieces. And then it's got the little hang tag with the Monet with a capital M. And all the rest are lowercase. Interesting little stretch pretty color just a little design there that's a cute bracelet we did get the match on the pearl earrings that match the necklace that's working out come on where is my other earring who is this do you recognize this guy i don't rec is he he almost looks like lucas the star wars guy i can't tell who it is does anybody know who he is? <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> oh, that is just too funny. I don't know. Do, do you know who that is? Anybody recognize this guy? <laughs> oh my goodness. So funny. Those are cufflinks. We've got some more little vintage earrings. And they're clip and they are uh, metal, blue very pretty blue color we have yet another watch but this one doesn't even have the watch <laughs> ah, people are doing all kinds of things with these things though guys have you seen what they're doing with the old watches they're taking them out and they're putting pictures like a picture frame interesting design on this watch band too well it works okay so see you can use it as a little locket or something how crazy is that? Game of Thrones? Is that who it is? I have no idea. I don't even, I don't think I ever watched but one episode and I fell asleep of Game of Thrones. Here's a little, it's not quite a bracelet. It looks like it's broken. Is it Chet? 
No, no, it's not Chet. I don't think so. I don't see the beret. <laughs> but it could be. I don't know. Here is, this looks like a vintage bracelet too. That's really sweet. <laughs> that will not keep you on time. You're right about that for sure. I don't see a uh, maker on this bracelet and there is quite a bit of wear, but it's beautiful. Is that for an Apple Watch? Oh, okay. Well, no wonder it's so fancy. And yeah, look, you can push things around in there. And look, it looks like very interesting designs all around it. That makes sense. Yeah, people do change their Apple Watch bands, don't they? Forgot about that. All right, we did get the match to this one. Nice. Lots of matched earrings. Except for the Labradorite. Yet, we have not yet found that one. This is a pretty chain. Look at this. is a big thick chain and it is marked gold filled I believe in the back there I see a G and an F it looks like let me see what it says 12 karat gold filled nice gold filled is actually um, bought as well guys people the gold buyers will buy your gold filled that's really cool so don't dismiss it Hoard it, stock it up when you find it, and take it for melt value. And they'll give you something for it. Oh, these are cute. Look at these long, elegant earrings. The rhinestones and chains and shine. That's pretty. Is this an old Girl Scout? Boy, Girl Scout piece. Yeah. Some kind of brat or something. I don't know where that would go. Okay, I got a bracelet. Let me see what this is. Oh, another matching blue one. We had two of these. These are cute. Very nice. Okay. What is this? A Derek? Why can't it be gold? I used to have an oil Derek pendant that was gold. But I sold it when I needed to. That's the fun about gold. It says Lago Lafayette, Louisiana. This is cool though. I guess it's some kind of an oil derrick site. And there it is. And somebody was probably wearing it like jewelry because it has a bale on it. Very interesting. It's heavy too. Okay. Nice. And this is a brand new bundle of bangles here. Yellow. Well, they're threaded. Interesting. They're threaded yellow. They're silver. They're a little on the large side. These would definitely be too big for me. I could not wear those. Pretty, though. Pretty bangles. And more wood necklaces. Hey Guillermo, how are you? Sorry if I didn't say hi earlier, just trying to get through the stuff here. Look, these match, these are cool. Look how pretty those are. Oh, those are nice. Really pretty. I'm glad those are matched. Those are very nice. And what is this? Oh, this is a pretty earring. This is a little blister pearl or something. Genuine pearl there. One earring so far. Now, oh my gosh, I bought this one really far away from the other bags that I have. So I'm not too hopeful about that Labradorite, but I guess we could turn it into a um, pendant if we don't find it. There's a $12.99 they had this tagged at. It's pretty. It's got little arrows. Yeah, $12.94. It's cute. Little pendant necklace there. We've got some vintage earrings. They're clips. We have two. These look kind of Christmassy. <gasps> they do. And um, more clip-on earrings. And actually, we've got some of these that are 
twist back. They've got heavy little beads on them. They're very heavy. I don't see a mark. Let me look at the back. Do not see any mark on these. Those are interesting, and I don't see a match. These are definitely vintage pearl-like. Another watch. This is an Elgin watch, and it has a cracked crystal. That'll go into my crafter lots. That's interesting. Elgin is a good brand name of watches. It's vintage. I do have some gold, solid gold Elgins that I have found at the Goodwill. So again, take a good look at what you find. Often the watches, I should have showed you with that watch, but often the watches, because the base is not usually gold, the carat weight will be engraved right here on the inside. Very often you almost have to hunt for it and you rarely see it, but it'll be there. And many times if the band is, of course, it'll say as well on the band, but the face, if it's gold, it'll be in those little corners. Okay, so we did get a match on these. So always take a look at grandma's watches and everything like that. Even if they're not running, they are definitely worthy of a good dollar. That's a little apple that's broken, actually. And more earrings. Thanks, guys, for hitting the thumbs up. Look at that beautiful brooch. That's a pretty butterfly. Very simple, gold tone. Excellent condition. That is really pretty. That's a pretty brooch. We've got some matching clip-on white earrings. Vintage, I'm sure. And what else? Single earring. This is an interesting little necklace. Boy, that was a big bag, huh? And we're not done yet. Don't go anywhere. Look at this. This one has tiger eye, genuine tiger eye. It's got a little tangulation. It's got a mother pearl horn, a gold tone leaf there, all dangling on this little charm necklace. So I'm going to have to untangle that. I like the chain on it too. It's just um, gold tone. Don't see a mark on it, but that's interesting. That's a nice piece. I'll definitely work with that one, fix that up, get those tangles out of there for sure. And what is this? An earring, a little Rivoli stone red. It's all mashed up. <laughs> we can fix it. And we have just a little band here. Got some sterling earrings in the beginning too. Here's a ring. It is cracked. Let me see if there's anything on it. Let me see if I see anything written on it. It looks interesting. It's 10K. It is 10K. So that's good. I'm going to test it, of course. 10K is usually not counterfeited as much as others. These diamonds, these actually have little diamonds, guys. I'm going to test those too. And um, from what I see, they look like diamonds. They really do. And I'll let you take a good look where it says 10K. It is split. It's an old ring. It says 10K right there. Right there. And the diamonds really do look like diamonds to me. I see a lot of carbon. They don't look like the highest quality diamonds. I do see some specks of black carbon. So uh, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. That's a good that's a good return on that hundred. Not bad, not bad at all. And it fits. I just have to get that little things soldered. I have a few things I need to solder. I need to go see my jeweler. Not bad at all. That's a bingo, 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 bingo. I'm going to test all of that. Seniors, baseball, district. Where is this? Little League. How cute. Got a little participation thing here. Yes. Excited for 10K for sure. And diamonds. And these are baguettes. Did you guys get a good look? They're like little. There's a round 
there is two baguettes around, two baguettes around, two baguettes and around. That's the, the cuts on the diamonds there. It's interesting because baguettes show their their carbon really quickly. They have to be really high quality uh, diamonds to, to look amazing in a baguette. And uh, I can see some carbon on these, so they they will do me anyway always good on that doesn't matter to me i'm always willing to take it to the gold buyer or hang on to it for a while these are cute too so that was nice now where's that labradorite labradorite earring i need where is, these are so cute these are really pretty little cage posts Glad those matched up too. They're just gold tone, but they're sweet. And here's all the other loose earrings and little tidbits. What is this? That's a pretty one. That almost looks like a laurel birch. What does it say? And is it all alone? No, it says something else. Sky? Yeah, S-K-Y-E. That is so sweet. I like that, too. It's like an enameled post earring. Interesting colors on that, too. All right, and another earring and more of these. And J-A, I don't know what that is. Maybe an airline. Let's see if that doesn't say anything on it. Sometimes these are gold, too. No, I don't see anything on that one. We have a little gold charm that feels very heavy. This could possibly be gold too. It feels very heavy for its size. Whoa, and there it went. Did you, can you hear that? Is that a locket? No. It's not a locket. It's just a solid little gold heart. Where's my magnet? Let me see if it doesn't get picked up yeah what could be there it's not oh it's so heavy though it's not really strong maybe it's gold filled who knows but that's still cute thought that might be gold but it's not and more of that more of that here's a loose crystal that's so pretty that's a little crystal wonder where that came from nice and what is this? A little moose. A little moose. Uh, tie back. Tie tack. They probably had to cut it off. Yeah, this is just silver tone. It's interesting now. I believe it's just silver tone, but I'm just checking the back real quick. Because you have to actually screw it on and off. Twist it, poofy heart. Oh, possibly could have come from that. Got that. We have that earring that matched, but it's kind of worn out. And these two, I thought they matched, but they're not. One is red and one is black. More of these. That's interesting. That looks like it belongs to an earring. And this one says Monet. So that's like the jacket to a Monet earring or something. Maybe this one. It's a little shell. Look how cute that is. And believe me, I'm going to inspect all of these to see if they aren't gold. Especially when the stem is gold, take a real good look at them. Because often the, the gold ones, all of it will be gold. That one doesn't say anything. But it just, you know, gets me to, to look at it closer. That's what I want to do. I don't see the Labradorite anywhere. I did have other jars, but they were bought months ago from the same store. So you never know. I've actually had earrings matched up after a year of separation. And my husband will be like, wait a minute. I think I have that one upstairs and he'll find it. <laughs> so I never lose hope. All right, these are just little Mardi Gras style beads. Those were in there and they're plastic. 
Uh, more broken pieces. This is a beautiful chain here. I don't know what it belongs to. It's very heavy and weighty. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a tangled one. No maker on it. Just a three-strand Rolo curb, and I don't know what else. And that's very nice. I like this one a lot. Just a really nice layering piece when you wear that gold. And this is in great condition. This looks like a Monet quality or something. Very weighty. Excellent color still. Very nice. And then these are so cute. Here's a chain tangled up in here. This one has, these are crystal glass, I guess. They're blue. And I love these. These look so pretty with ensembles. With beads, you know, you just kind of pair things together. And then you dangle that and maybe some blue beads on top of that. You know how I've done it. <laughs> I think they look so cute. This is a simple beaded necklace too. Just um, They are knotted and they're short. I love this one though. These are nice and heavy. These also really look like quality. Very nice. Okay, there was a couple of chains here that looked interesting. Where are they? Here they are. This one is really pretty. Let me see if I don't see anything written on the, what do you call it? Jump, jump rank or the little stemmy. Okay, this one says another gold filled, 120 Elka. Another gold filled chain, very nice. I have a lot of gold filled, um, lockets so these always look good they always have the same kind of patina and they're just really really nice pieces to have here's another gold colored chain let me see what this one says this one's got a nice sparkle come on gold i need gold italy 14 carat awesome possum bingo hey even my alarm went off <laughs> Even my alarm went off, guys. 14K. Awesome. And I was just hunting eBay for a short, I need a 16-inch or a 15-inch gold chain. And I got one because this one does not look very long. It says 14K on the, the little bar. And the jump ring actually says 585. So, bingo. What a way to end the night. Nice. And the jar, pretty much, because I think that is... Well, now we got a couple more things. we got some red beads there. That's about it. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. So excited. 14K Italy. And then 585 is what it says on the jump ring right there. Hope you can read that on the jump ring. And it's a very nice twist. I guess a twist curb is what it is. It's so pretty. Let me see if it has the other side. It's actually not a 16. It looks more like a 20. It has a tangle. It does have a tangle. It's more like a 20 inch, but who cares? It's gold. Nice. Yes, it's intact. So fabulous. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so glad you were here to share it with me, guys. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. So excited. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I ended with gold. Didn't find the labradorite, but that's okay. I'm hopeful that it will show up somewhere. If not, we'll turn it into a, what do you call it, pendant. But I'm glad you were here. Thank you so very much, guys. Come back again for another one soon. I am trying to get actually a... Um, a sale done this week over oh look here's the the this looks like a napier or something i'm trying to get another sale done over at my facebook this one says g silver but that looks more like the name of the company yeah and it doesn't even look it looks like acrylic it looks like a napier or something i don't know I'm trying to get another sale done during the week, probably Wednesday or Thursday over there at my Facebook because I really want to try to clearance out some items, things that haven't 
moved for me. I'm going to try to slash some prices. So if you're a member, please join me over there during the day, either Wednesday or Thursday. I'll post updates to see if that's going to pan out for me or not. That way, when you come back on Saturday, we can just combine the two invoices and we won't have to spend so much on shipping that way. But if you're not a member, all the information is always in my description box. The membership is always free and it is over on Facebook only. I don't sell here. Unless you happen to see something that you liked in a haul, always write to me over at my email, which is thelmahordes at gmail.com. And that information is always in my description box. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up, guys. I so appreciate your time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.